Being a good host can make or break your first impressions. But we're not talking about a Friday night dinner party in this case. We're talking about guest access on your business's network. The guest web portal locale of the WAP 125 access point allows us to manipulate the settings of the captive portal. In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll show how to create a captive portal for guests on a WAP 125 device. Next. All right, hosts, let's leave your guests wanting to pay a return visit to your business. The captive portal can be configured under access control. We'll choose guest access and go to the web portal locale table to get started. Then we will choose the default and click on edit. A preview of what the captive portal looks like will pop up, but we can close that for now. Here we let our personalities shine and customize the web portal as much as we like. First, we have the option to change the web portal locale name, but we'll leave it as default for this example. Next, we can change the background image by clicking on Browse. When choosing a background image, take into account the color contrast to the color of the text. After choosing our image, we'll click Upload. We can do the same thing with the logo image. A best practice is to select a logo with a transparent background. This is typically an image of the PNG, portable network graphic type, allowing for transparency in the image. For this example, we'll leave the logo as default. We also have the option to change the foreground, background, and separator color. Again, consider color contrast when selecting these options. We'll also leave the account image default. We can change it by clicking on Browse, choosing the image, and then uploading. We can customize our font from the long list. Next, we can edit what the captive portal prompts will read in account prompting. For example, we can change it to read, please enter your username. Below, at the portal title prompting, we can have it read, welcome to the guest wireless network. Scrolling further down, we can also change the acceptance policy for the users. All the other text prompts can be edited to our liking. We'll leave the rest to default for this example. By clicking preview at the top of the page, we can preview what the captive portal looks like. We can do this at any time during our customization. Once we're finished with our customization, we'll click apply to save those changes. Once that's finished, we'll click back to return to the guest access screen. Now, we'll add our captive portal to an SSID. To do this, we'll click the wireless tab and navigate to networks. We've got two options here, radio one, or Radio 2. We'll go with Radio 1 for this example. Here, we'll select and edit the SSID. We can add the captive portal to the SSID by going all the way to the end to the guest access instance. Here, we can choose the captive portal that we created. For example's sake, we'll create a new SSID and name it Guest. This SSID will be separate from our Cisco SV SSID and will allow us to separate guest users from our local traffic. We can add the captive portal to the SSID by going back to the guest access instance and choosing the captive portal we created. Finally, we'll go ahead and click Apply. The guest portal will now appear for the users under the SSID guests. It's that easy. We've now successfully completed configuring Captive Portal on the WAP 125. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.